Hi everyone, this is going to be a video about Wizzo's remote script for the Mr. FPGA. It's an awesome utility that allows you to control your Mr. from your phone or any device with a web browser. Let's first go over the installation process of the script. If you have the update all script installed, then you can boot up your Mr. and go to scripts. Scroll down to update all and run it. When asked, press up on your keyboard or controller to bring up the update all settings. Move down to and select unofficial scripts. Turn on Mr. Extensions. Then go back to the main menu. Save. Then exit and run update all. Your Mr. will now update. And when it's done, the remote script will show up in the scripts menu. To activate it, just run it from here. You are asked if you want the script to run every time you boot your mister. I personally set it to yes. Then the script will run. Here you are told the IP address and host name that you will type in your browser. You can now start using the script by going to a browser on a device in your network and typing that IP address or host name. You can exit the script now because it will run in the background. Now let me show you what the pages in the script do. But before I go over them, I want to mention that if you appreciate the work that went into developing this script and find it useful, you can support the work Wizzo is doing on Kofi. This isn't the only utility he's developed for Mr. If you head on over to Wizzo's GitHub page, you can see all the utilities he developed. You should have them all installed since we enabled Mr. Extensions and Update All, so give them a try. Now let's see what this remote can do. The control page is where you control your Mr.'s GUI. It pretty much has every control option you need for navigating the Mr. FPGA. There's the standard directional arrows, along with back, cancel, and OSD buttons. The OSD will bring up the Mr. on-screen display, very useful for players using snack and playing a game. There is also another OSD button specifically for computer cores, so remember that when you are using them. The double up and down arrows are the equivalent to page up and page down. If you have a large library of games, you can hit these buttons to navigate quickly through the games. The same can be done using the left and right arrows, but it's good to have options. Having the space button here is very convenient when setting up buttons for your controls. A lot of the times when I'm setting up a controller, I do not have a keyboard connected to my Mr. FPGA, and usually I'm not sitting close to it. It is really useful to be able to hit the space button from my phone when I want to skip a function when defining controller buttons. These 1 and 5 buttons are mapped to the 1 and 5 keys on your keyboard. You basically use them to map any function you want to a specific core and have quick access to those functions via a web browser. Since MAME by default maps the 1 and 5 keys to player 1 coin insert and player 1 start, you might want to consider doing the same for the arcade cores in Mister. You also have a button to bring up the keyboard and another for the numpad in case you need to type something. There are buttons for other useful functions such as changing the volume, taking screenshots, pairing Bluetooth devices, resetting the mister, and more. The menu page is a copy of your menu system that lets you run cores. Here you can run and boot cores directly, just like you would on the Mr. FPGA. The search page is super useful if you have a huge library of games. When you first open it, you will have to generate an index before you can search. When you know the game you want to play and want to quickly get to it, you can do that by just searching for it here. You can filter by system so you don't get games that were ported to other systems. When you click on the game, you can launch it. Or you can create a shortcut to it in the Mr. menu for easy access. You even have the option of saving the shortcut to a specific folder. By default, they will save to the home folder, so for now I'll leave it at that. But you can manually create a folder on your Mr.'s SD card where you can save these shortcuts to. I'll click on create shortcut and then go to the menu page. At the bottom you can now see the Sonic the Hedgehog shortcut. I can now just tap the shortcut to run it directly. No need to load up the core. If you don't want the shortcut anymore, you can delete it by tapping on its options menu. 
The systems page is a listing of every single core. You can quickly launch a core from here. The screenshots page allows you to view all the screenshots you took of your game. Each screenshot gives you the ability to view a bigger version or delete it. You can also download the screenshot on your browser by using its save image option. You also have a screenshot button at the bottom of the page for taking more screenshots. In the wallpaper page, you can see the list of wallpaper images you have on the SD cards wallpaper directory. You also have an option to use one of Mr.'s default backgrounds on this dropdown. On the wallpaper you want to use, click on set, then your Mr. will reboot with the new wallpaper applied. On the scripts page, you will be able to run any of the installed scripts you have right from the browser, like the update all script. The scripts will not run in the background like they do through SSH, but will actively hold up your mister, so keep that in mind. You can also launch the console from here. And exit when you need to. One thing I like to do here is scroll down to the update all script, then tap the star next to it. This will bring it to the top of the list. You can do this with other scripts if you like. The settings page is where you edit your Mr. INI settings. What's awesome about it is that it also gives you some good explanations or hints on what a setting does. The settings page is full of options, so I'll give you a short brief of what each page does and go over some notable options. But before that, you can set which INI file is currently active by clicking the active INI button at the top. In the general video subpage, you can do things like change the resolution, scaling, and configure other video related options. The videos filters page allows you to set what the default video filter settings are. Filters allow you to change the look of your game to resemble a CRT or LCD handheld. You also have HDMI and HDR controls to change the brightness, contrast, saturation, and more. This GUI is very intuitive and gives you a lot of control of the picture image. Changes take effect after you save and that will reboot your mister. In the analog video subpage, you can change the output options if you have your mister connected to a CRT. You have a drop down for the mode to select RGB, component, and S video, and there's checkboxes for other related options. The audio page lets you enable 16 bit 90 kHz audio and the default audio filter. The input devices settings page has many helpful options for different types of input methods. There are options for Bluetooth, keyboard and mouse, wheels, spinners, and some advanced settings. The OSD and menu settings page lets you modify how the main Mr. On Screen display works. If you installed extra fonts, you can set which one to use here. The core settings page lets you change options like being able to view video display info when a core is launched, how long the controller pop-up is shown when pressing a button on your controller, and more. The system settings page lets you easily change the Mr. FPGA hostname so they don't conflict with others you may have on the network. Also, all DE10 nanos have the same MAC address for the Ethernet port. So, if you have multiple misters, it is recommended that you edit the uboot.txt file to set a different MAC address so they don't conflict with each other when wired to the network. Luckily, the remote script also gives you that option here and a button to automatically generate a MAC address. No need to edit a text file. Finally, the remote settings page lets you change the theme of the remote script. You can also download log files for debugging and restart the service. If you feel that the script is not for you, then you can go back to the scripts menu on your mister, run the script again, and select uninstall to uninstall the service. I feel that this script is a must have for any mister user. There are a couple of use cases that I enjoy. When using Snack, you cannot bring up the OSD from the controller, so being able to use my phone to bring up the OSD 
and change games and cores is a godsend. The search and favorites feature makes it easier to find games and quickly access your most commonly played ones. When you have company over and they want to play retro games, you can easily search for the game they want to play a lot faster. And if you have a tablet that you can share, you can give that to them so they could find games on their own or have them browse from their own phones. I also feel that the GUI that Wizzle created to edit your Mr. I and I file is easier to navigate and change settings. To me, it's more convenient than opening a text editor or using the built-in I and I editor script. Let me know in the comments what you think of the script. I would love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.